Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Dominic, I'm the host of the Android Factory. In this episode, we're gonna uplift our implementation here for the KTOR client, our networking client, little third-party library that we're building out. We're gonna introduce Hilt to this multi-module project here. Let's take a look at our KTOR client here. We see that we're just creating an instance of it in the very beginning of our main activity, and then we're using it in a few different uh, screens here, the character detail screen, which we see over here on the emulator, and the character episode screen. Taking a look at the actual screens, the composables themselves, right? We have our KTOR client, and we're actually just launching some, you know, network calls right here. Obviously, we need to clean this up with a little bit better architecture, but Hilt is going to help get us one step closer to that better place. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it here. Let's go ahead and uh, change this stuff around here. I've pulled up here the uh, docs here for Hilt. I've done this a few times on the channel, but we're just gonna go ahead and jump through it again. I'll link this in the description of the video, but we're gonna go ahead and copy this line of code here. We're gonna move it into our uh, project level build.gradle. Something to note here is that we have our project level build.gradle, then we also have our app level build.gradle, the app module, and we have inside of a network package, we have another build.gradle in here, right? This is where we have a lot of our dependencies for our networking based things. Fortunately, with the way that we have this set up, we don't actually need to modify anything about this network package. Instead, we just need to update the project and the app level build.gradle, the one that's actually going to be using the uh, library here, and then we can actually use Hilt. So we're just gonna go ahead and copy some of this other stuff here from the uh, build.gradle. We'll put it up front here. We're gonna need our uh, actual library right here, 2.44 went through and just commented on a few of these here. So we have them and we're gonna have to go ahead and launch this in here as well. Uh, okay, that's actually all that we need from the project and the app module uh, level build.gradle. So we're just gonna go ahead and sync those. Looks like it did that already in real time, so that's fantastic. The other thing that we're gonna have to do here that's very boilerplate is we're gonna have to add in our Hilt Android app. So we're gonna come over here, we're just gonna create a new uh, file here. Let's call this the simple Rick application. This is just going to be a class that extends our application, the Android app uh, application. And then we're going to annotate this with Hilt Android app. Well, let's not forget that we've created this class here as our application class. We need to link it in our manifest here. So we'll go over here to our name attribute and we will update it to the actual name of our class. That's gonna go ahead and link this appropriately, which is perfect. And then uh, we are gonna be able to do at Android entry point here and start to use Hilt. Now, the one thing that we need to note here is that we're just creating an instance of this uh, KTOR client, right? If we take a look at it, there's really not much config that we wanna do to it, but in the future, if we ever build this out to accept some kind of you know parameters for configuration, we're gonna wanna make sure that that configuration is applied to all of the uh, instances of our KTOR client. And when we have stuff like that, we really wanna make sure that this is a singleton. And at the moment here, we're just creating uh, an object, an instance of the KTOR client. This is not actually a singleton, right? We could just go ahead and simply Simply do this uh, if we could name it appropriately and now we have three different instances all of the exact same class our networking class and you know that's not a problem right now but it could be especially if we have some configuration so we're gonna want to create a little bit of a module uh, inside of this dependency injection implementation here so we're just gonna go ahead and create a new package called DI we're gonna create a new Kotlin file in here let's call this our network module Sure, we'll leave it as a class. We're then going to annotate this with app module, which is going to come from Dagger. And then we are gonna tell it to install this in our singleton component, meaning that this module should be seen as a singleton. And then it's pretty common practice here to have your provides methods uh, annotated with the singleton annotation as well. We're going to name this provides ktor client. It's going to be a function that is going to return our KTOR client. And we're basically going to just copy and paste that implementation that we had from the activity into this, right? But here, now anytime we wanna reference a KTOR client instance, we're going to get the same one because we're leveraging Hilt to make sure that this is seen as a singleton, that we're only going to ever be interacting with this instance of the client 
there. And then that provides us some very nice opportunity here. If we had to configure this uh, client, we can do so right here so that we make sure that every uh, or the only instance of our KTOR client is configured the way that we need it to. But in this case, we, uh, we, we don't have any config, so we'll leave that alone for now. Because we have our at Android entry point on our activity, we are very simply just going to create uh, at inject, we'll say late init var, and we will have our KTOR client. The second we do that here, we get this little annotation in the side. If we click that, we see exactly the function that it's coming from, and we can kind of bounce back and forth, navigate through the IDE, because it understands, hey, we are injecting this thing that we're creating over here in the module. We're injecting that into this activity here. And uh, that is literally it. Let's go ahead and give this a run, just to make sure everything is working. Looks like we've ran into a little bit of an error here saying the current target is 11, but it needs to be 17. So I think we just need to update our project here from uh, version 11 here to version 17. Let's go ahead and sync that and try it again. I'm going to assume that the, uh, where is it? The, the 2.44 requires a certain level of Java and our project wasn't set up to that. So that was a pretty simple fix here, rerunning it and everything hopefully should just work right out of the box. See here the emulator coming up. We see our network call being made here. We obviously don't have this. We can go to the view all episodes page. And this is again, if you've been following along in the season, been making some other network calls and all that kind of stuff. So we are now sharing this KTOR client. A single instance of it is being injected into the main activity. We're sharing that inside of our character detail screen. We're sharing that inside of the character episode screen, which is what we see on the emulator. So we are starting to go down that road of uh, getting a little bit better of an architecture, or a little bit better of a pattern that we can go ahead and leverage when we want to build out, you know, a better architected app, right? So taking a look here at the character detail screen, we should not be in interfacing directly with our KTOR client. We're obviously going to spin up a view model. We're going to have a repository. That repository is going to have access to the KTOR client because that's going to do all the networking. But now because we've set everything up here with uh, dependency injection, we're injecting our KTOR client wherever we need. That's going to be a very simple process. So that's about it. Hopefully, uh, you know, this made a little bit of sense here. You learned something new. Maybe smash that like button if you made it this far in the video. Really appreciate you. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.